Hi, my name is Vicky. My presentation is about Frederick Froebel and his kindergarten. As a significant person in art education history, Froebel lived from 1782 to 1852. He was a German educator who founded the kindergarten in 1840. His educational philosophy and pedagogy for kindergarten is similar to art education today. For my visual presentation, I created an image with a, a background of a garden, which happens to be a photograph of mine. <laughs> and in the center, in front of the water fountain, I placed Froebel's portrait. The water is overflowing, which symbolizes kindergarten overflowing into art education. Okay, on the left and right of Froebel, I have the principles and philosophy of his kindergarten. Froebel's three key principles are, number one, self-activity or play by using the educational toys that he calls gifts and occupations. Number two, sensory, using all senses in the process of playing. Number three, symbolism, learning to put meaning on relationships with materials. Froebel's gifts are color yarn balls, wooden blocks, tiles, sticks, and rings. Froebel is known for his Christian faith and his love for nature. He puts a great emphasis on the unity between God, nature, and the humankind. He also believes in the mother and child play and learn. In his kindergarten, he hired female teachers to protect and guide the children. Froebel's principles were influenced by his teachers Rousseau and Pestalozzi's philosophy. At that time, Froebel's way of, of operating his kindergartens was thought of too liberal, and eventually all his educational institutes were closed. The reason Froebel is celebrated in art education is because his kindergarten principles are similar to art education regarding the manipulation of materials, engaging of all senses, and by using symbolism on abstract things and relationships. Thank you.